Hello, my name's Linda and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and today we're going to be making a card for a man and I am taking part in a blog hop and it is the Stamp and Hop blog hop. So, this means that you can go to my blog and you can hop along with lots of other demonstrators. I don't have a card to show you but we're going to be using the Bubble Over stamp set and I am using Whisper White and my card base is going to be um, blueberry bushel and uh, let's just get that ready there we go and we're going to be doing lots of stamping so let me bring in my little mat and we're going to be doing a background so I'm going to be using lots of my smaller stamps from this set we're going to be using the yay the star for you and this little squirrely circle and I'm going to build a background up with it. So let's, let me start. So I'm going to start with my star. Oh, let me just make sure I've cleaned it. Okay, I hadn't cleaned it very well, so I've just given it a quick clean. I'm using Lemon Lime Twist for this one. And um, when you're using small stamps for background, it's best to start with your largest stamp that you want to use. Um, in this on this occasion three of my stamps are exactly the same size so I'm just randomly stamping all over my piece of paper go off the edge sometimes that makes your card look ultra professional okay and then I'm going to use blueberry bushel this time I'm using the um, yay stamp I've used this set so many times you can't even see what you're doing anymore. That's the right way up. You can't always see which way up it is. I love this colour. This blueberry bushel. This is one of the new in colours this year. Really pretty blue. Oh, blue and greens are my favourite colours. So it's very exciting. We're actually into August. And... Um, the Christmas catalogue is going to be coming out in September and if you would like a copy just ask me because I'll be getting my copy soon. As a demonstrator we're already able to pre-order from the Christmas. It's not just Christmas, it's Christmas, it's Halloween um, and it's, as Stamping Up is an American company it's Thanksgiving as well but there's some really really lovely stuff in it this year and I'm just going to do I'm going to do my pre-order this afternoon actually after I finish this just don't know what to order and okay and I've actually done something which I just told you not to do I've started stamping my tiny tiny stamp set with the stamp sorry no it's not a stamp set with the Pacific Point and I haven't done this one yet I'm going to be using basic grey for this one Really, you should fill in the gaps with your smallest stamp. I got carried away. And there's also a special offer on at the moment with Stamping Up. If you spend £45, you get £4.50 back in September to place for, the, for another order. So if you spend £45, you get a, um, a voucher that will be emailed to you from Stamping Up with a... Um, a number on it and then you can type that number in in September when you place an order so if you spend £90 you get two vouchers that would be the way it's working ok so now I'm going to bring my um, For You stamp back in again with my Pacific Point and then just fill in some of these gaps obviously you can you can use whatever small stamps you have for this and whatever colours you want to use it's actually my son's birthday the end of this month and I might give him this one. I haven't decided yet because I'm not really sure what it's going to look like when it's finished. Good, hopefully. Right, there we go. I think that's enough stamping. And while I've got my stamps out, actually, this is one, um, another piece of Whisper White here which I'm going to use for the middle of my card. Um, and I'm going to use... What am I going to use? I think I'll use Blueberry Bushel. And I'm using this big Happy Birthday. And this comes from perennial birthday stamp set and I'm going to use blueberry bushel 
ink it up. Great. And put that to one side. So that's our stamping complete. So I have cut out already um, Celebrate and I've cut two of these out. I've used the Celebrate You Finlets and I've cut one in black and one in the silver foil and I've just um, stepped it so that you can just see a sort of shadow effect I don't know if you can I don't know if you can see a shadow effect I can see it anyway and I've um, on the back before I cut it out I put the multi-purpose adhesive sheet on the back of the black and silver so I can just pull that off if you can see you can just pull it off and it sticks straight down and what I've got is a piece of vellum that I've cut out and I've cut this it's four and a quarter by two and three quarter inches and I'm going to put this on the front of this one and I'm going to put the celebrate in the middle so let me just pull the backing off and we can stick that on I have my dogs under my table at the moment and he is snoring very loudly I'm hoping you can't hear you probably won't be able to hear it Okay, so the great the great thing with this um, adhesive, multi-purpose adhesive sheet is when you put your put it down. Is if you don't press really hard, you can just adjust it to where you want it. So you can just pick it back up and move it around. Get my paper straight, and then when you're happy with where you've positioned it, if you push it down firmly, and then it sticks and it won't move again ok so now I'm going to bring in if I can find them some little stars I have lost them everything was there I wonder if it's fallen off the table oh no here they are they're under money for my ink so I've got these little tiny stars and they've got adhesive backs to them and I'm going to put these in the background and um, off the top of my head I cannot remember what they're called so I will put it on the screen they're very cute and they come in slightly different colours well, not really colours, I think they like come in silver and then a sort of um, different colour silvers what am I talking about Linda, just shut up talking rubbish, I don't know what I'm talking about ok so um, I put six on there let's just stick another one on let's stick it down there Okay, and then I'm going to bring this in and this is going to go on top of this and I've also cut out um, one of these little buntings and this is from what set is this called? Pick a Pennant and it's a um, stamp set and it comes with or you can buy on top of the finlet dies to go with it and I love these I love these and I'm thinking because this is a bit random I don't know I haven't decided actually what I'm doing yet I'm thinking it might look quite good like that let's bring the background in and put it all together and see what it looks like so that on top of there and then maybe that there so with without with without let's, let's just stick this down so I'm going to stick this to the base just a bit of Tombow if you've seen, seen any of my videos before I normally like to put the um, tear and tape on the back if I'm using white but because it's got so many stamps over it I don't think you can see through it now this piece, the vellum, you have to put your glue um, behind your celebrate. Now I'm going to use the um, fine tip glue for this and I did have a practice run with this and it went spectacularly wrong so when you put your glue on just do tiny drops because if you do too much it all squirts out the side and then you can you can see it so that is the thing with vellum if you have to stick it down you don't want to be able to see the glow I'm 
hoping that's going to be okay. Decide where you want to put it and hover because once it's down you can't move it because again you'll see the glow. I'm hoping that's straight. Yep. And then I'm going to put the middle in. Then I'm going to make some sort of decision about if I'm going to put the bunting on or not. I've got some inks just off of camera there. I don't want to get my card in them. Just push them out of the way. Okay, so that's our middle. I think I'm going to put it on. So I'm going to decide... There's my scissors, how big I want it. Obviously you can do some snipping after. I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the back of each bit. So as demonstrators we get to pre-order as I said I'm going to be doing this afternoon if you'd like to become a demonstrator I'd love to have you in my team I've got a small team at the moment which means I've got plenty of time to chat to you if you need any help you don't have to do card classes or videos or anything when you join Snapping Up you can just be a hobby demo so you can just Take advantage of the discount that you get and special offers and pre-orders. Okay, I've finished. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.